Which MLB outfielder has the best highlight reel? I've highlighted the sickest infielders, and now it's time to praise the outfielders that take away all the hits. You know, the ones that laugh at low catch probability percentages and make diving catches look routine. There's so many good ones in the game right now, so I'll break down which ones are the best and why. If you're new to my content, this is my Examine It series, where I give you my top five, and you examine it and tell me where I went wrong. I'm never wrong. Also, this is an active players list only, so unfortunately, I had to leave off some of my favorites who really set the standard, including Willie Mays, Roberto Clemente, Andrew Jones, Tori Hunter, Ichiro Suzuki, Jim Edmonds, Barry Bonds, Andre Dawson, and of course, the kid, Ken Griffey Jr. There's a new wave of hit thieves today, so follow me, subscribe, and give me your top five. And now, I'll get to my list. First, I owe a sincere apology to players like Byron Buxton, Lorenzo Cain, Starling Marte, JBJ, and Cody Bellinger. You didn't make this list, so I'm sorry. But true lovers of this game understand the importance of a great right fielder. And because of that, there's no way I could leave Jay Hay off this list. This man beast is out there making Wrigley feel even smaller than what it is. With this big frame, it doesn't look like he should be able to cover so much ground, but he does day in and day out. Five gold gloves to his name and won four in a row from 2014 to 2017. So when we talk about highlight tapes, he's put a serious reel together. I'm jealous of Cubs fans who sit in right field or down the first baseline because they get to watch art in the making. And I had the opportunity to play with Jay in 2015, so I know how special that is. It's really unfair for a player to be this big and this fast roaming around the outfield taking away hits like Joey Gallo. It's bad enough he can beat you with the stick, but Gallo now has back-to-back -back gold gloves because of his knack to take efficient routes to the ball. Gallo proves you don't need blazing speed to take away knocks, and honestly, I think he deserves more recognition for a great defensive showing during a season in which he was traded from Texas to New York. He can play every outfield position, and there's no doubt his agility and instincts will allow him to continue to be a great defender. This dude honestly doesn't get enough of the love he deserves, but he's been one of the best outfielders in our game for a while now, Kevin Kiermeyer. Playing in a small market and not being much of an offensive threat shouldn't take away from what this dude does on a nightly basis with the leather. And think about it, the non-spending raise gave him a $53 million contract, so you know the defense has to be something special. It's his first step and his ability to read the ball off the bat. He's so precise with every movement and makes the diving play look so sweet. He scales the wall with the best of them and his athleticism is on a whole nother level. Hit it to left center or right center, it's an automatic out either Either way. This dude easily could have been number one on this list of ridiculous playmakers, but I pulled him back just a tad because he had some injury issues last year, and the number one guy has been just unreal. But Mookie Betts has been making this outfield thing look easy for a minute. Probably the most athletic player in our game today has five gold gloves and won them consecutively up until last year. It's gotten to a point where we just expect this guy to make every single play. He covers so much ground, the speed, the quickness, the leaping grabs, diving plays, oh, and that rocket of a right arm is unmatched. He's like a natural shortstop playing right field, and most plays guys have to lay out for and dive for, Mookie is just camping right underneath it. Mookie's one of the best outfielders we will see in our time. There is an emerging defensive star who I can barely believe won his first gold glove last year. Harrison Bader plays the center field position like a straight up madman for the Cardinals. He's the ultimate highlight reel, and the swagger he brings to the middle of the outfield is truly something special. Whether he's running in and making a diving play or going back on a ball that he has no business even getting to, it's all too easy for him. I think for me, it's the many types of difficult plays that he really has no problem with. There seems to be no weakness in his defensive abilities. The defensive metrics are there too. Leading National League center fielders in outs above average, defensive run save, and range factor per nine innings. But you don't have to know what any of that means. Just use the eye test. He's the best defensive outfielder in the game today. Examine the extraordinary and let me know what you got.